So let's get into looking at ecosystems. So today I'm gonna to go through and define what we mean by an ecosystem, look at small scale ecosystems, and then look at the larger ecosystems around the world that are also known as biomes. So what actually is an ecosystem? An ecosystem is a natural environment that includes the plants and animals that live and interact within that environment. So we're looking at those links and relationships between biotic and abiotic. So we've got biotic stands for living components such as plants and animals and abiotic refers to non-living components such as the soil. Now there's a couple of different factors that determine what kind of ecosystems we see. So the climate, soil and water all influence what type of ecosystems we get. So when we're referring to the climate, the temperature and the amount of rainfall are very important in determining which species can survive in each ecosystem. When looking at the soil, the soil type is important as this provides nutrients that will support different plants. And the, the amount of water available in an ecosystem will also determine what plants and animals can be supported. Before we look at food chains and webs, there's a few key terms that you need to know when we're referring to lots of different aspects in this topic for ecosystems. Producers are plants that convert energy from the sun through photosynthesis. Consumers are insects and animals and they get their energy from producers. Decomposers break down plant and animal matter and return nutrients back to the soil. A food chain is a simple line diagram, whereas a food web shows the multiple connections between producers and consumers within an ecosystem. In this example of a food web, we see the primary producers at the top. Then as we go down the page, we see primary, secondary, tertiary and quaternary consumers. And you see all the links and interactions between all the different species in this ecosystem. This pond ecosystem is a good example of the type of thing you might see for an exam question. They show you all the different types of species and this usually would be accompanied by some kind of food chain or food web. Nutrient cycling is an important concept to understand when looking at all these different ecosystems. Nutrient cycling sees plant and animal matter dying and this is also known as litter. The litter then decomposes and releases nutrients back into the soil. These nutrients are then absorb by the plant and tree roots. So why do we see some ecosystems change? Ecosystems can change on a local and global scale and there are various different factors involved that can cause changes on small scale ecosystems. We can break them down into natural changes and human activity. So naturally, through extreme weather or drought, that could affect a small scale ecosystem. Human activity, such as removing elements such as deforestation, agricultural fertilizers, farming practices or building settlements can also affect a small scale ecosystem. Large scale ecosystems we see around the world are also known as biomes. These ecosystems can be linked to the different latitudes of the world and the global atmospheric circulation model we previously looked at explains why we get these different climates around the world. There are many different ecosystems around the world and for this course you need a basic understanding of each of them. What I suggest is you check out the BBC Bite Size link that I've included in the description below and go read up about each different ecosystem and their characteristics. Now during your studies you should have gone into a lot more detail about a few different ecosystems. For this course we're going to be focusing on tropical rainforests in a lot more detail and I'll also be looking at cold environments, talking about places such as Alaska and Antarctica. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. Make sure you check out the previous videos in the Sunday morning coffee playlist. And next week, I'm gonna provide a video on all the aspects you need to know about tropical rainforests.